We're going to start off with maintaining clear skin using Iku Acne Serum. A clear canvas is always easier to work with. Moving on to pale foundation. I'm not a fan of using white foundation, so I'm going to take the lightest foundation shade that I own and double the amount I normally use, warming it on the back of my hand with a brush and applying it evenly on my entire face and neck. Use a sponge for additional blending. We're going to skip concealers because we want to preserve as much of your natural dark circles as possible. So apply a translucent finishing powder around your eyes. This will set the foundation and create a smoother surface for the eye makeup. Set your foundation with loose powder, load your puff up, blot the excess, and gently dab the puff all over your face. This will create a more even, smoother coverage. The reason why we want to keep the dark circles is because vampires don't get much sleep. Let's define the nose by contouring. I'm selecting a neutral flesh tone that is two shades darker than my own. With a filbert brush, lightly run it along the sides of your nose to create an illusion of a defined nose. Start blending out the harsh edges. You want this to look as natural as possible. Also, with a light shade, highlight your nose bridge and lightly blend away. Start redefining your brows. I'm going to use a gray color as a base first and filling it in with a brush. Then taking an eyebrow pencil, finish defining it by filling in the brows. Use a stronger hand and try to avoid using black. To keep both eyebrows looking similar, tilt your head down, measure the angle with the pencil and compare. Remember, your brows don't have to look identical. They're more like sisters, not twins. Keep tilting down and check if they're even. We want the eyebrows to look strong, but not overpower the eyes. Now prep the eyes. Apply a sufficient amount. This will intensify the colors. Get your eyeshadows ready. I'm using Coastal Sense 88 palette and select a rusty color and apply it on your lids. A rusty color gives your eyes that bloodshot look. Now start fading the color out. Get the color deep inside the socket. This will create deeper hollows in your eyes. Now fade out the outer V. This will create a warm undertone. Apply the same rusty color on the lower lash line. You're almost creating dark circles when you're doing this. Take a dark brown shade and apply it along the outer V. The deep brown will darken the rust without losing the rich colors. Start blending the dark brown. Dig deep into the hollows. This accentuates the depth of your eyes. Fade out the rich brown. Now rim your eyes with black eyeliner, so line your waterline, and don't worry if it gets messy because we're going to smudge it later. Line the inner top part of your lid, you want to darken your eyes. A tip I always stress on is to never stretch your eyes when you apply your eyeliner. It may seem easier to apply it this way, but you're damaging your lids. This will prematurely age and sag them. Now take a small brush and smudge the eyeliner, create a slight cat eye. Don't be scared to over smudge. We want those raccoon eyes. For any boo boo, use Q tip and twist to remove. Take that fluffy brush and diffuse the black eyeliner with it. This is like gosh and blurring your eyeshadow. Use your black eyeshadow. Apply it directly on the outer V. This will deepen the look. Use a fan brush to remove any fallouts. Curl your lashes. This mascara looks so fancy, I can imagine a vampire using it. Apply 
a wine or burgundy colored blush. All products and links are listed on the sidebar. Use your stippling brush or blush brush and apply it right along the hollows of your cheeks. As you can see, my Laura Mercier concealer melted in my car. So start reshaping a more defined edge to your lips. Create a strong cupid's bow. Remember, you want to take your time on this part. It's very easy to mess up. Blend the concealer into your foundation. And really emphasize on the edge. Use a sponge if necessary. Apply the translucent loose powder. This will set the concealer. Apply a wine or black cherry colored lip color. Look at this Yves Saint Laurent lipstick. It's so gothic looking with intricate details. Very vampire-ish, right? So apply your lipstick and use a brush to fill in the lips. A brush gives you more control and precision. You want precise application to make sharp edges. This isn't necessary, but finish off with lip gloss. Lancome's lip gloss has a teardrop shaped brush for a precise application. So start at your cupid's bow and follow the edge. Powder to finish. If desired, wear fangs. You can buy this at any Halloween store. It fits perfectly over any tooth. I prefer to use denture adhesive cream to stick the fangs on my teeth. So fill up the fang with the cream. You don't need too much. Fit it over any one of your tooth. Wait for a few minutes for it to set. I waited roughly two to three minutes. Grr, I'm gonna suck your blood. <laughs> Enjoy your look. It's haunting, gothic, elegant, mysterious, and romantic. Good luck and happy Halloween. Music is by Late Night Alumni, Canon Wakishima, Suna no Oshiro. The sunrise comes too soon.